Hello, YouTubers. Wow, it's good to be back. Happy New Year to you all. And as promised, um, we're starting the AWS penetration testing course. And this is the first video which will um, be um, launching the series. Uh, we're going to have several of these videos um, where we'll be talking a bit about the concepts and also doing the hands-on stuff. Um, so for today, I'm just going to introduce the course and um, showcase the key areas which we'll be covering in this first video. Then the second video, um, we'll be setting up the pen test lab, which includes building the vulnerable Ubuntu machine and a Windows server machine with an application or application set up in them. So this one should be short. Then the follow-up one um, will be showcasing the hands and stuff. Then the third one will be setting up our pen test lab. We'll be using Kali Linux in AWS. We'll see how that cool stuff can be done. So enough of my ranting. Um, every week we'll be having two videos in this series. I'll try to keep up with the task as long as my work time does not infringe or interfere into this concept, uh, which we're trying to showcase out there. And it's all for free. So please do like and subscribe if you like the content. Um, leave those wonderful comments and um, they encourage us to do more stuff like this. And if you'd like to support us, please feel free to reach out to me privately. Um, we'll be glad to um, appreciate your support. Thank you. All right, so enough for these um, chitty chatting, down into business. So um, the focus for um, this first set of videos will be to create an AWS account, setting and managing keys, building pen test lab for hacking, then configure and secure lab from hackers. Very important. You want to be the one hacking. You don't want the bad guys to be hacking you if you don't keep your lab secure. So requirements, uh, we'll be using um, Ubuntu and uh, Windows, like I mentioned. We'll set up the um, Denver and the web application, DVWA, on both. Then also the VSFTPD, that's the very secure fire transfer protocol daemon on both of them. And um, we will see how this works. With time, we might be integrating our already pre-built machine into the lab as well. Um, I've got a couple of these machines, Windows servers, uh, Ubuntu, Red Hat Enterprise, and Linux. We'll try to see how we can make this rich and as practical as possible. Okay, a little bit about myself. Um, this is who I am. Uh, been doing IT for about 11 years plus, and um, been doing um, IT security, cyber security for about five years plus. Uh, I'm an active pen tester. Um, experience cuts across infrastructure, pantries and testing, but locally and abroad. Then cloud security, very critical part of my job role as well. And then um, uh, I also implement frameworks like the ISO, uh, um, the PCI DSS as well, and help clients to walk them through uh, um, that certification process as well as the recertification. Uh, I'm also an active member of the Information Security System Security Association, which is the ISSA, and also actively involved in the Cyber in Africa or the Africa Hacker and Mentorship Program. Um, some professional certifications which I have: the CNCH, CH Master, Linux Pro, Pentest Plus, um, Twice, Microsoft Azure Associates, then AWS Security Specialty, as well as many more which are in the uh, 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 collection. Well, this is not to um, get you all prepped up, but just to make you understand that we've got a bit of experience uh, into what we'll be showcasing to you guys. So it's not just um, um, us trying to talk, but rather trying to show you the concepts and um, get the concepts all pretty clear in a way that you can easily assimilate and understand the concept. Okay, I'm going to exit this. Then um, show a bit about the course outline. Um, so I'm not going to touch on a few things here for confidential purposes. This course has also been recorded on the platform. Um, when it's done, I'll disclose that, but I thought it would be cool to also have a free version on YouTube for those who would love to check our content on YouTube. 
So um, what you learn, you learn the AWS security fundamental, how to set up a pen test lab, how to set up EC2 instances, S3 buckets, ABS, snapshots, privilege escalation on cloud, maintaining persistence, getting initial access, exploiting misconfigured Route 53, very important, SES cloud formation and key management service. Also, we'll be conducting audits on the cloud trail, which will help us understand our threat landscape, then also the guard duty. Um, also, we'll be at the wrap up part of this course, I'll be showcasing some uh, secure cloud buildings in Terraform. Pretty cool stuff. So, you want to stick around until that time as well. Um, a summary of the content so um the first part it's been broken into section you can see all that section going on there each week we'll try to see if we can cover maybe a section so in total this might take close to 10 11 or 12 weeks uh, uh, we hope we're able to wrap this up as fast as possible then the course roadmap we can see this first part we've got the uh, security foundations very important now uh, something which i would love to stress at this point um, this course is not going to be limited to only those with experience we're also trying to focus this course to target those who are starters uh, who have no idea what cloud security are because we're going to first set up an account from scratch i'm actually going to show you that setting up an account from scratch then uh, building everything from zero so it's more like saying from zero to maybe intermediate level but i don't want to steal that word from some of the guys so i just wanted to understand that you don't have you should don't worry about nothing if you lack the experience i'll show you how to first set up an account in aws then we'll try to stick around the free tier so you don't end up spending but at some point i might should be on that just so i want to show you some cool stuff um, um, which means I'll be spending some dollars. <laughs> All right, so it's pretty much that you subscribe, like the content to support this journey. And beyond that, uh, um, we'll be doing, uh, working with the pen test methodology. Uh, at some point, we'll be using the OAPs. At some point, we'll be using the OSSTM also because we're doing some network stuff and application stuff. And I'll be glad to walk you through each steps. Then beyond that as well, we'll be mapping most of what we'll be doing very critical to the MIDA attack framework because we also want to show you uh, uh, attack uh, emulations, trying to make you understand how threat actors actually use some of the tactics which and techniques which you'll be using to exploit enterprise environment. It's very critical that you grasp that understanding. It's going to form the bedrock or the basics of your knowledge as you go through or as you continue your journey becoming a pen tester, or maybe a security analyst. Okay, then um, quite a cool, lots of stuff there i'm not going to go into this i believe as i'm talking you're actually reading all that through so you, just to give you an understanding of what we'll be doing now for the setup and installation uh, 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 at minimum at least you need a 64-bit intel i5 or i7 or better if you have better uh, uh, with at least at least 2.0 gigahertz processor speed you need some gpus at some point if we're going to be cracking hashes or cracking stuff uh, but at the minimum then uh, 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 um, we also need to stress that uh, for ram you need at least eight gigabyte ram four might work but at some point you might get stuck so maybe eight might be a better catch um, if you have a, a windows system good if you have a linux system good if you've got a mac good i've got all these systems so at some point i'll be showcasing how to do stuff on a windows environment on a linux environment linux i use ubuntu as my day to day then i've got a mac as well so with the latest firmware so i'll be showcasing how to do stuff as well on the mac and beyond that well that's going to be all for now and um I hope to see you soon in the first hands-on recording and please do like our content, subscribe and um, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.